What's going on? I go by the name Church Life and today we're going to talk about why pride is a dangerous thing to have. So today we're going to learn about pride and why God doesn't like pride. And we also going to learn how to identify if we have pride in ourselves. And if so, how do we deal with it? So before we discuss the matters of pride, let's find out what it means first. So the definition of pride means to have a deep pleasure or satisfaction for one's achievement or to be proud of your own skill or abilities. Pride also can be attached to qualities or possessions that are widely admired. So we just learned that pride can lead to false idols or idolizing possessions or things that you may have. And one of the things that God commands us to do is to not worship these idols or images. So now that we know the definition of pride, that kind of gives us a general idea of why God doesn't like it. But to break it down even further of why God doesn't like a prideful attitude is because it undermines the work of God. Because it causes one to think too highly of themselves because of their achievements and a certain type of arrogance comes with pride because you may have skills or abilities that propel you to a certain level of success but because of that prideful mentality you may feel like you got here on your own but you got to remember that God bless you with these qualities and whatever God bless you with he can take it away so instead of having that prideful mentality, we should be clothed in humility and exalting the name of our Heavenly Father because it's He who gives people power to get wealth or anything in life. See, we could have not woke up this morning, but God showed us grace and mercy, and that's how I'm talking to you today. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to post a picture here and there on social media or any platform that you may have because that's not a bad thing. But what makes it bad is the intention behind the actions. Sometimes we have to question our motives. Because a lot of people so quick to judge and question other people's actions instead of questioning their own. And in the Bible, that's what the Pharisees did. And Lord Jesus tells us not to be a hypocrite as they were. So basically he said, before you judge someone else and question their actions, consider your own actions first and what you're doing. For example, what am I doing that's not pleasing to God? So the purpose of this video is to give us a better understanding of what pride is and are we operating out of the spirit of God or are we operating out of the spirit of pride? Now that we know that, let's go to the scripture and see what it tells us about pride and why it's a dangerous thing to have. Proverbs 16, 18, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. James 4, 6, but God give more grace, wherefore he saith, God resist the proud, but give grace unto the humble. 1 John 2, 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So we just learned that pride leads to destruction because it can actually separate you from God because it's of the world and not of the Father. So how can we identify pride and how can we tell if pride is in us? Let's see what the scriptures say. Luke 15 verse 2, And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eat with them. Matthew 23 verse 5, For all their works they do to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. So we can identify in these two scriptures that the Pharisees and scribes looked down upon Lord Jesus for receiving people that were sinners because they thought of themselves better than Lord Jesus and the people he sat with because of their status. We also learned that they did things to be seen by other people and they made an effort to stand out in the crowd in a boastful way. So when you do things, you got to be conscious of your intentions behind your actions and your motives because when you try to do things to stand out in front of people, that can lead to envy, jealousy, and ultimately lead to destruction because everybody don't want to see you win. So don't always let your left hand know what your right hand doing because when you do things in secret, God will reward you openly because you're not boasting and bragging about what God just blessed you with. See, when you allow God to show off the blessings that you're about to receive, you begin to realize people still won't like you because of the favor of God in your life, but at the same time, they can't touch you because of the favor of God in your life. They can't touch what's God's, but they can touch what's yours if you feel like you did it on your own. So how do we deal with pride? Let's see what the scripture tells us. Proverbs 11:2. when pride comes, then comes shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. 
1 Peter 5, 6. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Proverbs 3, 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. We must humble ourselves in the presence of God and acknowledge him in all our ways. And by doing so, he will direct your path. So today we learn, don't think too highly of yourself because pride leads to destruction. And don't boast and brag, showing everybody what you have. Because remember, we could have not woke up this morning, but God chose to wake us up by his grace and mercy. So everything that you have is a blessing and a gift. We didn't get this far on our own. It's because of God, grace, and mercy through the blood of Jesus. Why we even stand a chance to make it in this world until the second coming of Lord Jesus. And on a side note, I want you to understand that your finances can fail you. Your health can fail you. But the word of God will remain and last forever. So don't think too highly of yourself because all this stuff that God blesses with can be gone in the blink of an eye. It can be gone just that quick. But I pray you all have a blessed day and I love y'all. And I pray that this word bless someone in Jesus name. Amen.